Hello, it's Tim, uh, and I'm in a tent on Easdale. Uh, where am I? Tent camped by Easdale Tarn in Easdale. Yay! And as you can tell, it's dark. Ooh, spooky. Right, let me just try and get the light sorted out so it almost works. As you might be able to hear, it's quite windy. Uh, stupidly windy. Um, the I think the helium Vango helium superlight turns out is going to take more of a bashing than I'd really want it to. Uh, yeah, um, I've had to like put knots on the ends of some of the um, tightener bits because the bits where I've tightened just kept getting blown out uh, so we will hope that in the morning neither me nor the tent will be in the tarn um, but if anything particularly exciting happens expect to, uh, to see on video the live action later oh god no but um yeah, things have gone good. So let's see what. Let's recap. Uh, kind of weird holding this LED torch because uh, it seems to uh, make me look like I'm kind of rippling, or at least on my screen it does. Anyway, um, so today's a Friday. After work, jumped on a train to Windermere. Yay! Sadly, it was connections weren't the best ever. So when I got to Windermere I had a two hour wait whereupon I jumped on a tra a local bus, the last bus, to Grasmere. From Grasmere I well I arrived at Grasmere at like 11.30pm or something. Obviously it was dark. Um, so I night hiked up Easdale which is a valley that kind of Grasmere is at the mouth of and up about 400 metres to Easdale Tarn, where I am now. Um, I walked past Sour Milk, Sour Milk Gill, which is, even in the dark, really quite a stunning kind of waterfall cascade slash gill thing. Anyway, it was pretty awesome. It's a shame it was dark and I couldn't take photos, but you know, I've got something to look forward to, and I know that that's worth it. Ah, swim. Yeah, so, there'll be a certain irony if on camera you watch the tent kind of get blown away. Um, no, it'll be fine. But I'm still kind of packing my bag so that if something did collapse around me, only certain stuff would suffer. Oh dear. Anyway, um, so time's now like 1am or something. I got here about quarter past midnight and I've had a bit of a tough time finding a place, good place to put the tent up. Um, at about 200 metres the wind was non-existent and I kind of wish I'd pitched up there. But um, yeah, I didn't. Um, I almost walked into another tent that's up here. It had, uh, I saw some kind of thing, this triangle reflecting at me, and I walked kind of almost right up to it before I noticed that the reflecting bits were bits on the kind of A frame of the tent. So, I hope I haven't freaked somebody else by kind of walking up to them in the middle of the night, going, ooh, I'm shining a light at you. Anyway. I think I'm going to get my sleeping bag out and attempt to sleep for a bit. Though I just hope I don't get blown away because I don't want to do that. Anyway, tomorrow, tomorrow we will see how I am and work out what we'll do next. If you're lucky, I might tell you. Bye.